This video will uh, explain how to install and load the deep field package. Often, when you try to get certain information you need from a data set, that information is not directly available, and you have to manipulate or angle your data. R is a powerful software for manipulating data. In this video, you will learn how to install and load the deep field package for data manipulation or handling. This package contains several key commands that are useful for managing the data sets, observations, and variables, and for computing summary statistics and new variables. The deploy package provides the following functions for data wrangling. A range function for sorting the data set according to your chosen variables. Filter function for choosing observations or rows that meet your conditions. Select function for choosing variables or columns you specify. Mutate function for creating new variables or replacing the values of certain observations. Summarize function for applying summary functions to your data to get summary statistics. And group by function for grouping your data according to your chosen variables. Because Deplier is an add-on package in R, the first time you want to use it, the package must be installed. After the initial installation, it must also be loaded before use every time after that. As noted earlier, the Deplier package is part of the collection within the TDverse package. So you can install the Deplier package either as part of the TDverse package or individually. To install the Deplier package as part of the TDverse in RStudio, click Tools, then Install Packages, then type TDverse, and click Install. After installation, various messages will be generated, but they can be just ignored so long as there is no error. You will see all the messages in red, and you will probably see many more messages than I do because I have already installed this package before this video. Each time you want to use a package in TDverse, including Deplier, you have to load it by using the library function as follows. So you highlight this line and click Run. Alternatively, to install the DPR package individually in RStudio, you can click the same tools and then install packages and type DPL. Or you can go to this panel, choose packages, click on packages, then install, and again type and choose it and click install. Uh, you may receive this message that updating about updating loaded packages that one or more of the packages that will be updated by this installation are currently loaded. The starting R prior to updating these packages is strongly recommended. And R Studio can restart R, etc. So we can press yes. And then uh, the R state session will be restarted. Once again, you only need to install DP Lear package or any other packages once. Again, to use the package, you have to load it using the library function as here. Library, and then you press. Um, here I have a message they want to install from sources to back. Um, we can press yes. And then it has a generation of certain messages. And I think it's all good. OK, so here, in order to use the package, you have to load it. And you need to use um, the function library. And so the way to use it is you select this line and then click Run. Running this line of code will also often produce several messages or warnings, as you can see here, and you can just ignore them so long as there is no error message. In this case, there is no error message. This video explains how to install and load the DPM package that is often used for data manipulation or data wrangling in the R.